Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn about the 15th station. A lot of times, we don't hear about it because that's on Easter Sunday. But Miss Watson gets so excited, I wanted to share the good news with you so you'll know about it on Easter. So we're going to review all the stations so far with our Station of the Cross book. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother Mary. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. The eighth station, Jesus meets the weeping women. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. The tenth station, Jesus' clothes are taken away. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. Thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. And the fifteenth station, this is the one that we pass over each one in church because it's not Easter yet. But this one is so exciting. Jesus rises from the dead. And this one says, Early on Sunday morning, some of the women went to the tomb where Jesus had been buried. They found that the stone had been rolled back. An angel told them that Jesus had risen from the grave. The women told the other disciples the good news. Jesus then appeared to them and said to them, Peace be with you. And this one says, Jesus, you told the disciples you would be put to death and rise again on the third day. After completing the work given to you by the Father, you now rose in glory. We adore you and we bless you. Jesus rises from the dead and brings us hope. Word spread quickly about the empty tomb. Imagine the disbelief, excitement, and finally the joy of the friends of Jesus felt. Jesus had conquered death. He promises us new life and fulfills his promise. There are times when days seem very dark and scary. But now, we have the word of Jesus. It is true. We have no need to be afraid of the dark any longer. Jesus is our new life and light. So I'll show you another illustration in our other book so you can see right here. And we have a prayer we say at the very end. It says, Jesus, you love me so much that you are willing to suffer and die on the cross for me. Thank you. Make my love for you and for all my brothers and sisters grow stronger every day. I want to always think, act, and speak as you would. Help me to spread the peace and joy of your resurrection everywhere I go. Amen. And the last station 
looks like this in your book. So it says station 15, Jesus rises from the dead. I'm so proud of you boys and girls for completing your entire Stations of the Cross book. Now you can practice reciting it and sharing with your family the good news.